Warm weather had people crowding parks right across the GTA today, but one of them is getting extra attention tonight. A tug of war is erupting over ownership of Downsview Park. Here's Mark McAllister now with what's at stake for those who call the area home. The backyard garden is where Katerina Sinopoli toils much of the spring and summer and has for 44 years. Now that space is in jeopardy with plans to develop Downsview Park directly behind her home. It's no right after so many years to take the land back. She received a letter from Canada Lands Corporation claiming that the fence that exists at the back of her property encroaches on what will soon be a new neighborhood. This is my old, my small house, and I work so hard to have this house. I fight for the tree and nobody listens to me. Now they want to take my land too. That's no fair. Katerina and most of her neighbors have received notice that up to one meter of their properties will be taken over. Trees will be removed and new fences will be built. Making the situation even more complicated are the accusations from local councillor Maria Audremary that Canada Lands isn't sticking to the plan that has already been set out and making things even more difficult for a community that has already been impacted. The councillor claims to have obtained leaked information showing more construction to come. She's calling for the federal government to give control of the park to the city. It seems that the federal government, all it sees here is dollar signs. And Downsview Park does not deserve the misdirection, indecision, and secret schemes. A new website has been set up, including a petition urging Canada Lands to give up control of the property. Mayoral candidate and former Downsview Park chair David Saknaki says development was never the overall intent. The mandate of Park Downsview Park has always been more than a real estate transaction. We have been here to deliver a park in perpetuity. Something residents like Katerina have wanted much of their lives. I, I fight for everybody here. Mark McAllister, Global News.